Okay. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Good morning. To some of you, according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land. Why the early attack? Why? Why the early attack? Is it back now? They should allow me to broadcast. Allow me now. Is it because of the topic? Which we are going to treat. Welcome, Omo Chineke. Ha! Today's attack is earlier. <laughs> we move. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Maze I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiriba province, Biafra land. I am a whole of broadcaster. On IPOB. Our leader is in Namdekanu. Maz in Namdekanu. He is in DSS custody. Suffering for the people of Biafra. And that is why we are gathering all over the world. As he informed the world earlier that the armies of Biafra are assembling all over the world. And he commands them. And you can see IPOB marching in protest in different parts of the world. And these are the people that Namdekan is leading. He does not lead terrorist organization. He does not lead armed struggle. He does not lead government in exile. He never do set any government on behalf of Biafra. We are in a struggle. We, and that is how we are marching. We have never been confidential to handle any government in the name of Biafra. That is why in the structure of IPOB, there is the IPOB Directorate of States. That is DOS. Members of Directorate of States, they are the people that pilot the freedom of uh, and the affairs of IPOB to lead us into Biafra. Namdekano is in charge of IPOB and the IPOB leadership are the people that oversees everything happening in IPOB wherever they are and they report to Mazen Namdekanu and that is how we march and nobody can stop us there is no government behind IPOB there is no political sponsor we are not engaged with anybody we only allow you when you say you can do it we will give you a chance and they have tested and they see they cannot free Namdekanu only IPOB knows how to free him because we only work with our God. For our God is the one that brought the Namdekano. And that is why when they say they want to go, they want to go because they know the president. They know those in Asrock. But we don't fight because we know those in Asrock. We fight and we have confidence that he will be free because we know the God that the Namdekano informed us that called him. But one politician say, allow us to go and use political solution. I tell you, you say, go. Go now. Go. If we didn't allow you to go, you say, if not, if I feel they allow us, had they allow us, we would have framed them the canvases. Did we not allow you? Where are you since the court discharged him? You know, when all of you were playing gambling, you say you are a politician from the East. Though we applaud you all for showing up because you were insulted in the court premises, but you don't know the rules. You are not freedom fighter, right? All of you have served in Nigerian government. And you can be probed at any time. That is why we told you, you don't have the grant. Anybody that serves a Nigerian politician is a thief. Not that you stole like others, but there must be a point where EFCC can challenge you with. And you don't have mouth. That's why Namdekan is free because he has not served the Nigerian government. You cannot probe him. If Namdekan has served in any sector in Nigerian government, he must be probed. That is why we told politicians you don't have the ground to fight. Just listen to us. Let us give you directive. Tell you what to play. You have served in the government, though, so you are corrupt. 
If you make noise, the ESC will come after you. So, but you should stop playing gambling with us. We know what we are doing. Hey, let us go and free you. Political solution, we say go. And some idiots are shouting. Hey, how can political solution free our leader? I say, in my hand, uncle. If you are in police station and your people came, your village, they send the executive. And if you are in a market, your union, market union, send the executive to see you in police station. And if you go to any religion or any religion and they send representative to see you, then that is to say your case is now coming down. Means that you are not terrorizing those with you in the market. You are not terrorizing your village because they send representative. Therefore, and you are not disturbing your religion. So they all send representative. That is to say you are a good man first. Now you now face the charge policy is giving you. Nobody comes for you. you. You think you are a human being. That's why religious leaders and um, traditional leaders, they say, we want to go for free and the We allow them. Some idiots were shouting. You don't know the diplomacy. And as you know, Lama When Ed said, we want to go, you saw them in Asolok. You saw late in Bazrika Mitch. You saw all religious leaders with him there. They went. That signifies that Namdekanu is not disturbing the elders. Rather, he was telling them the truth. Namdekanu is not fighting with the traditional rulers. Rather, he was telling them the truth. Namdekanu is not fighting the religious people, but he is telling them the truth. Then, for them to indicate in his matter shows that he is in good with them. And it is an open evangelism to the world. And that is the way we play. You don't know it. I know me, I don't know when we want to make it official, we inform them that they must send representative to the court. Unless they send. Everybody will send. That is to also inform the world that we are not divided at home. Did you understand? You know, when IPOB is playing it, some people don't know. Some of them will come Bring everybody together. We say you are a fool. God has not brought everybody together in heaven. He pushed Lucifer and his angel. It's only IPOB that will accommodate them for my hope and accommodate their agent. Then you know that DOS is making peace. Now come together, everybody. God did not make peace in heaven with the angels. Among the angels, they didn't settle. They fought in heaven. They pushed Lucifer down. You come to IPOB and say, bring everybody together, you are a fool. We are more intelligent than you. You are an idiot. Hey, DOS is not bringing everybody together. Even God did not do it. And the IPOB would not do it. <laughs> I demand an ally. Very dangerous in mind, IPOB. We have no weapon. Dangerous in mind. Serious weapon against the war. Those that are enemies of truth. We have been given birth by our mother, so God will present them, special people that will give birth to us after the genocide. We will be plotted in their wounds so that we will, wake up, we will stand firmly this time around, bringing hope to humanity. Not people of Biafra, people that are being caged down in different countries. When they see IPOB agitating, if you see how they are praying, you know, when I see our politicians condemning IPOB, we will see these people are foolish. People that are suffering in different countries, they are praying that IPOB should restore Biafra so that Biafra will help them. But in just are <laughs> fighting IPOB. Can you defeat us? Do you know how many countries that are praying for us to be freed so that we come and help them? Maybe you don't. So, we, in IPOB, we have no government. We have never established any government. That is why, from the beginning, we never had a chairman. We don't have spokesperson. It's only government that will have spokesperson. We have publicity secretary. Government or different. I rubbish here. I don't know this kind of rubbish. How much are Lime Hamed paying for Facebook? 
to Facebook special workers because of this my account. What are you doing with my broadcast? We move. Did you understand? I must say the truth. In IPOB, we never run a government. Nothing like government in exile. We don't run um, armed struggle. We don't run any government. We are we have a structure that leads us. We have never been freed, and we cannot run a government in Nigeria. Did you understand? So, for your information, mind you that Nnamdekano leads a freedom fighting movement called IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. Right? Let us pray so that there will be no distraction as we march to treat our agendas there. Narekele, Narotito, Narodijama, Chilekin Bochi, Chilekin de Biafra, Chilekin de IPOB, Chilekin Nandikano, Chileko Jupu, Chilekin de Nanani. Imela, Oya Jemonu, Imela, Ezeberi, Imela, Eze Honanya, Imela, Oya Jingo de Lanya, Imela, Oya Yanya Loma, Tia Hedi Chich and Imea, Yene Mo Wano, Female Macogu is in Yanani, Imea Kala no mean Yanani, after Boran Ebran Yon, Ayam Musha, Tata Idru no one in Oya de Panakagi, on a bay to what is he may, and Yabawano to her, on a Bokani Ade, Macanayama or Tosi may. One in a baro cric, cric, guani, Maleno Nainjuno, one in a tack, and okay, so where is Yani, Ezudo, or binding gave free food. They didn't do half free food, half was in them bosom. Come, I am a wound, they cake up with Ren Howen, dear, but I ain't carried. Narekel, Naro to turn up one day, Rogare, Napa Britain, Rogare, Hamagan, and number I got to her, no gay joke to her. Imelonian one, you have been on Anadi. Narekel, then I wrote to the one number they can. I na your pocket. No, I can't go present it. I want to be just as I know. No, I can't go. I am in Bob Line, a dog in a Bob Line, a bog in Bob Line, and you so. Nee, Nipu Paranyani, I am Matonian, I'm the carnival. Ipu Paranyani, I am Matanoya, who only need Basil in a yan. In the Nigeria, I need a hard jet there, and they be afraid to shake. Nana Kele, ni and I am an ogre at Ternabo. Come, I am a yoga name and I am mad. I am a run out of patience. I am a boy, Ibuchi, one thousand years the gate, Nanyak. But almost two years now, what is I can, Nam the Kano, on the good ten years, Yaka and I yogi. Mbudini was the report, Kaha, before Napota. I am one day Napot, who can take a foreign, what to boy. Obwana muso na mbidi genye na mde kanu nsubu. Chineke kwa pum. Inyo obla ge di stop ya kwa pum ya. Ebo obla eshe abya. Le kwendini ni ige rezi maka ogodi otua. Ebo kula kora bia hananya. Nde ezi oku. Ebo kula kora bia hananya. Ruwe mba haga joy na ogwa. Na reke le. Ndi ge ji kwa apabu anye. Na le gosu. Ma hundi ge ji apabu anye nu gwa osa. Na bo yi bo ani kama ka pa bo ani ko bro na ige kwetela lota na nda obuda ani chineke ndi obula ige raise oti raise rindi yoruba ha na atu ani raise we ha ha were were ha pe wa ni opepia ka iche to zo ba ani maka ndi ba ya ga ala na ni uto inye obula ige je ni o wa o chichi ka ige je atanya ahu e bo obula ina na nigeria na asante e ba inye obula ige je apia ni he pia ni he ka ha pe ba ha la obuda ani Nareke Elena wrote to Nene Nebuchi, Nahagi, Chi, Uku, Okike, Abia, Amara, Pro, Ime, Ihenile, we have prayed. He said, he said, he said, thank you. Facebook, you are just dreaming. Listen to another trouble. Just listen. Just listen. You will, so, you will, you will, die. you will get tired. Listen. We are the only people on this earth that suffered the problem. And I mentioned the whole cost. There is not one single foundation stone left anywhere to remember this people. Not one. Not one. Before Frederick Lugard came and created the monstrosity called Nigeria, I didn't know who this man was. My ancestors never knew him. He came from somewhere overnight and said, from now onwards, your name is Nigeria. And we're looking at him. 
But of course, it came with whiskey, sugar, and um, chocolate. And um, what does it come with? It came with um, bicycle and mirror to confuse us. We said, oh my goodness, this um, uh, Betula, the way they are, maybe who knows, with, with their bicycle, who knows what they say is correct. When the missionaries came, they told us that God sent them. And being very godly people, we believe them. That God may have sent them, indeed. The same thing they said we should do, we did. Believing that God sent them. We didn't know it's just the, the palm oil, the palm canal, the cocoa. And the oil they are taking. Listen, that God sent us from what? There is a Monsignor of Catholic Church that God sends them. So that type of nonsense would not wash with us anymore. I am not going to Britain to take over Kent or oh, sorry. No, stay in your land. You can, if you want oil, you dash you oil for free. We're not doing anything with it. But I was born a free person and I intend to die a Biafran, a free person. It is either we get Biafra or I die fighting for Biafra. It is better for me that way. But a life of slavery in Ireland, a life of slavery in Britain, a life of slavery in Germany, a life of abundance, stupidity, and hopelessness in America is not for me. Mr. Director, sir, I have another question. Uh, my question is this. Uh, the organization is all about giving people to death or actualizing the state of Biafra. Without death, you cannot have life. And uh, seeing the political equation, imagine uh, in Nigeria at the moment, uh, does your supposed coming uh, Republic of Biafra include uh, the South Southern people? There is nobody called South South in great geography. We are in geography, in the cardinal points we have South South before. I mean, uh, with the state of Nigeria, there is there is a six geopolitical zone, and we have to face the fact that there is six geopolitical zone, and the minorities in the former Eastern region have been uh, pushed under the south. Uh, Who is a minority? The Shores, the Ophix. Minority, the minority against who? I'm saying, do they include? No, I'm asking you, you're a journalist. Minority against who? I cannot be in my father's company. Come and say I'm a minority. Minority, you, there has to be a definition. What we are looking at here is a definition drawn up by people who are alien to our way of life. I have said it before. I said it last night and I will repeat it. The word Jew is, a, is a what? is called a corrupted version of Judah. In Israel, Judah is only but one time. But the name Judah took over everybody else. Whether by commission or omission. Do you believe in I, I, I need to answer your questions. And you come to your question. We can stay here tomorrow morning. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Jews took over. It doesn't mean that the other tribes are not there, like Benjamin and all the rest of them. They are still there. But the Jews took over. Nobody has been able to disprove people of the John, ATP, Bibio, and Igbo people are from one family. Nobody has disproved it. They are one people. All this minority report was brought by the British. The British gave us a minority. Do you know the reason why? They wrote the minority report saying that the Calabas, the people in Aquaibom, if they go, oh, what is going to happen to them? And I was studying in England many, many years ago. Something occurred to me. Why did you not have a minority commission in the north? When you have the TV people, the Luther people, the Wali people, the Biron people, why no minority commission? Why minority commission here? It is the classic divide and rule, the found oil. The only way to have access to your oil is to divide you. Very simple. If I want to come to your family and take something from you, I'll get you fighting with your brothers. You're fighting and you're cutting away what you have. So that was why they set up minority commission. There is a difference in emphasis because, you see, African people sometimes are a bit stupid. And I'll tell you why I think so. We are very, very daft. A change or slight variation in language does not mean you're a different people. It doesn't mean that at all. In Israel, they have Yiddish. They have Hebrew. When Christ was on earth, 
He was not speaking Hebrew, he was speaking Aramaic. Does that mean he is not an Israeli? Does that mean that those that speak Yiddish are not Jewish people? Does it mean if you speak Hebrew, you don't belong? So why is it that when you speak Hebrew, you speak a job, you speak everything, you're different? But in Israel, you have... Thank you. One more thing, okay. We move. That's some kind of thing to say there. Come on my Facebook, you work at work more and more. Because... I am not know why I took us in that job money in a bubble in through Biafra restoration. Before I never enter Biafra, before we enter Biafra land, so many kingdoms will be dismantled by IPOB. Evil kingdoms. Whether political, whether religious, whether anyone, so many mantled, um, kingdoms will, will be dismantled before Biafra will come. And that is what we are doing. That is why some enemies don't even know how we fight. When you are fighting, they say, hey, hey, look at where you should go and fight. And you ask them, are we lacking at that place? The answer is no. Because we are playing different wings. That place you are pointing that I should go. People are there fighting. IPOB are in that front. Tell me where we are lacking. Tell me any wing that is leaking. Tell me now. No, if we are reporting to global terrorism index, ESN will stop work. They will stop. Uh, they will start fighting great global terrorism index. If we want to go to court within Namdekano, no, the, uh, ESN should leave the bush and go to court. Isn't it? Mad people everywhere. This war, this war, um, this our battle in IPOB, we divide it. But we are working and channeling it together in one force. That force is IPOB. That is where we channel our voices. And when it comes out through Namdekan, the enemies, the enemies will be panicking because these are our voices channeled together. When it comes out from the mouth of IPOB leadership member, it will be powerful because we channeled our voices there. That is how we fight. Then let us go to the topic. Friend Namdekano, Nigerian government refused to obey court order and free Mazen Namdekano, IPOB leader, that they kidnapped in Kenya, tortured him. Unfortunately to them, God who saved them, they, can. they wanted to kill him in Kenya. Then they brought him back to Nigeria. People should listen to When they brought him back to Nigeria, confidentially, they concluded on the charges they would give him. Now they now announced that he is with them. After concluding, after their meeting, their security meeting, setting up their plans. Discussing with the judges that discuss with Bin Tanyaku, they discuss everything. It was an um, executive discussion. They called meeting of defense chiefs. All of them gathered while the American is in Nigeria. They never informed anybody that he had been brought back. Did you understand? They gathered. They agreed on the charges against him. They agreed on how they would do it. They agreed on how they would torture IPOB, how they would threaten us, IPOB family members around the court premises. They agreed on how they would not be bringing an Amdekano to court. They agreed on how they would send them into the east so that if there is any uprising, they will be killing them. They agreed on everything, on how they will strike their, um, what is it called? Judicial, what, how do I put it? How they will treat Namdekano in their courts, using their judges, they discuss all these things. They discuss, they finalize it on how they are going to jail him at last. Isn't it? Now, Namdekano was extraordinarily renditioned into Nigeria. Two of us, true, now, they took him to court. In their courts, we filed suits 
over the violation of his fundamental human rights by Nigerian government and their DSS. Namdi Kanu secured about five rulings on his favor in the court of Bintanyako. None was obeyed. But giving him his worshipping material or praying material, giving him his back his eyeglass, allow him to change clothes. But uh, what is it? He should not. He, he, you, DSS should stop keeping an American in solitary confinement. All these things we secured it in their court. By the state Joffo and his team. They secured these things. These are this was the primary works that IPOB did. But the state Joffo and his team did marvelously well. Secured two times visit to Namdekan, two times visit a week. Two times visit. They secured fundamental human rights rulings, which DSS did not obey. Now, after securing those things, they now see where they, Jofo now saw where they are keeping Nigeria. They now went to Zokome. Knowing that, they have defeated them in Bintanyako's court. But Malami is now using his son, son position, to intimidate Barista Jofo. Right? They now went to Zokome. Did you understand? And Ozokome came, it was son versus son. And he now left them there. He knew that the Jofo had destroyed being Tanyako's court. Ozokome now moved to appeal. Because but the Jofo and team have destroyed being Tanyako's court, have destroyed Malami in being Tanyako's court. Ozokome now came, they trashed the charges. Did you understand? Some of the charges, like seven or eight, was trashed. It remained few. Now, he now went to appeal to destroy the remaining. Because a Jofo have cleared the road. Did you understand? In Bintanyako's court, have shifted the Manami and the Laparan, shifted them. A Jofo forced them to be amending charges. The first is amended kind charges. A Jofo and his team. IPOB lawyer, they came and destroyed it. They came back again with seven amended can charges. But it's a Jofo and his team destroyed it. They now came with 15 amended can charges. These are people that had had meetings, organized everything before announcing that an American is with them. They arranged everything, but you saw how they were amending charges because they are confused. What they organized, what they agreed was nothing. Did you understand? If Nigeria think that they have security chiefs that are intelligent and they have Ministry of Justice um, um, that is well organized, that are intelligent, why do they end up in amending charges, amending charges? Upon how many days they kidnapped an American in Kenya? They tortured him. They brought him back to Nigeria. They now prepare the charges against an American. How come they started amending charges? Because they had no case against Namdekano. Everything, they only believe that with the power, they can hold Namdekano. They don't have any grant, logically, to hold Namdekano, nothing. Now we move. When we went to appeal, appeal court of Nigeria Abuja trashed every charges, destroyed it, the remaining charges, then condemn Nigeria's approach in well, the American in Kenya, the way they brought him back to Nigeria. The judges of panel of appeal court, they condemned it. Panel of judges of appeal court, they condemned it. Now, they now said that Namdekanu should be discharged and acquitted, right? That one is different. They now said that. They are prohibiting Namdekano from standing any trial again in any court in Nigeria. Now the question now is, Namdekano is not facing any charges or any charge in any court. What did the barrister Jofo and Namdekano's lawyers and um, Osokome brought to DSS after the court ruling? 
It was the ruling of the court that was signed by the judges of Abbey Court. It was signed. That is to say, any detention warrant that they are detaining the name they can do with have been destroyed by the appeal court. Now we come closer. Namdekano is there is no detention warrant that is keeping Namdekano in DSS. Are you aware? The appeal court judgment, 13th of October 2021, have destroyed any detention warrant that DSS is using to detain Namdekano. Because if you are genuine, that detention warrant, you will bring it to the court and it will be signed. Now, court wrote his freedom, the judgment. The lawyer submitted it to DSS. They saw it. The day for him. Now, which warrant, which detention warrant are you holding in Namdekano with? I want to know. You know, why we are treating this is not because we are coward. No. We believe in self-determination, but we have the right for self-defense. People should know this. Right? Then we move. Is it Namdekano facing any trial, any charges? The answer is no, because the charges must be in a warrant. Now, he, there is no warrant keeping an American in DSS. There is no charges. Now, and the court to prohibit him from standing any trial in any court in Nigeria. Now, my question, our question to the world now is, what is the American doing in DSS? Is he standing any trial? Is there any charges prepared against him? Is he free to stand any trial? Is any what is the which is which what is the uh, we want to see the detention warrant that is keeping the Namdekan in DSS? Where where is the detention warrant? Who approved it? Who signed it? Where is the detention warrant? The appeal court ruling nullified any detention warrant holding the Namdekan in DSS. Are you aware? That is one thing we are bringing to the notice of Nigeria. They think we are joking, but we know what we are doing because we must have to prove our father's right. We must clear their face. We must make their spirit happy because they came here, they killed them, they attacked them, rebels, they blackmailed them with BBC, and at the end, they concluded that Tojuku caused the war. And today, IPOB, through our perseverance, upon the threat, upon the killings, upon the extrajudicial killings, upon the torture, upon the kidnapping, they call arrest of our people, upon the illegal detention of IPOB family members, upon the missing of IPOB family members, we refuse to retaliate. Why? Because we are fighting two battles. We are defending our fathers that fought 67 to 70. We are also defending ourselves to restore Biafra now and to prove them right. And for now, for the moment, we have to hold them right before the presence of the world by not retaliating because they forced them into war and they tell them that they caused war. And today we want to prove it that what they have done to us is not up to what our fathers saw, right? But our fathers complain, no way. And they took Nigerian president to Ghana, Aburi Ghana, which the meeting was presided over by General Ankara of Ghana. And they agreed. Ankara led them, he escorted them on air, right, down to Nigeria. And coming back here, they disagreed. Nigerian government disagreed with the agreement. And the Ojuku said that that agreement is where we stand because our people have no security, we have no defense. The government is using the name of Nigeria to kill us. And when the world, as they say, is communal crisis and there must be a regional government, all these things, that is what we need to secure our people. Where Nigeria is in charge, under one Nigeria, one Nigeria not for freedom of Biafra, one Nigeria was the agreement Ojuku went for. One Nigeria. Upon the one Nigeria, they saw that you cannot have access to kill us in the one Nigeria. That was the reason why the British said no, because if we are in charge of the security of our place, they are afraid that they cannot assess our resources. And they finalized in committing genocide against our people, the British. And upon that, Ziki kept asking Ojuku, let us go to the African Union president. Ojuku accepted. Ojuku said, arrange for it. He arranged for it. Gowan was invited. Ojuku was invited. Ojuku went to the meeting. Zik was sitting beside him. Why Gowan refused to come? 
African Union. They went to ECOWAS. Gowan was invited. Ojuku was invited. Why the genocide was ongoing? It was ongoing. And Ojuku came. Gowan refused to come. The last one with a few presidents, Zeke organized again. Nigerian government now sent Awolowo. And Awolowo came there. He said that um, what they are facing is internal issue in Nigeria. And that makes Ojuku angry that he said, but anybody again, he don't want anybody to call him again. Did you understand? The same Awolowo, the same Awolowo, Ojuku freed in Calabar prison. The, the same Awolowo, I am coming to that side. I am coming there. Facebook, I think you will prepare very well. Wake them from sleep. Wake others that are sleep. In short, tell other uh, Facebook workers to leave their duty post and come to this page. You think we are joking? Do I know what I'm saying? They'll be bringing it on up. I will be selecting it. You can't stop me. You're making it. The words keep coming. Thank you. Did you understand? And that allegation that they are rebels, we have cleared it. The world has seen it. UN gave order for free Nam Nigeria disobey. Is it not the same thing with the Abri Accord Agreement? Even this one is even more hard. This one is a, that Abri Accord Agreement is even okay for Nigeria. But this UN order that they disobey, don't you know it's more powerful than the Abri Accord Agreement? But they disobey. Now, have our fathers not been vindicated? Have we not proved them right? If we start with shooting, Nigeria, the same BBC will tell the world, that's how their father started. That's about Biafra. It will be a counter of terrorism. Did you understand? And that is why we have been patient. They call up cowards because our fathers, we must, they tried. We must clear their face from that rubbish. That very allegation that they are rebels, people that defended this land and gave us a map that we, we can know as our place today, and you want to label, you will tarnish their image, and we start acting for Biafra, we will not clear their images before we move. No, now, that is stupidity. You start shooting. Hey, shoot, shoot. When they say your fathers are thieves, <laughs> and you grow immediately, you start thief. <laughs> Why not make sure that um, people know, do not see your father as a thief? You prove that is the, how they gave your father's allegation. So you want to destroy the image of your family. Right? No, we are not that kind of people. That image, they said, what you could fought war? Those honorable men, BBC, give, gave them allegation. And you want everybody to start with God? No, we must clear it. And we have cleared it today. And we are marching. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. We move. So we let us go back to them, Nigerian government. <laughs> we are analyzing the, uh, the, the stupidity of Nigerian government. Can somebody tell me, uh, somebody ask DSS, somebody should help us and ask DSS, which detention warrant are you using to hold them the Canada? Because I pick up to say the one really nullifies every detention warrant. Whether you bring it to court to be signed or not, that is your business. The ruling of the IP court was written, right? Signed, stamped, and submitted to DSS by IPOB lawyers. We serve it to them. Now, we want to ask Nigerian government and the world. What is it now they can't do in DSS? No date of court, no warrant, no charges, no date of court. Then what is it doing there? Now can you, can anybody blame IPOB tomorrow? No, this, do you know why we are bringing these things to your notice? Is because we know that they will allow it to lie to the world. But we are presenting it before time. 
Can anybody blame IPOB or any Nigerian or somebody who come up and say, man, we ask you, what is keeping an American in DSS? Is he facing charges? Did he have debt of court? Any debt of court? We want to know, is there any debt of court? Because that is the only thing that can hold you. No debt of court, and his case has been trashed. He's not facing a case that they say, sin and die. And um, uh, before you go, uh, before you go to court, it will last 21 days. That's when you, you are being reminded in detention earlier, right? But the case of an American have been in trial. You know, the gamble they played there that turned against them was that they abandoned the warrant that Namdekan was granted bail on. Because that one is useless. If you talk about that warrant, we will now challenge you on how Namdekan disappeared. Now, in Afaruku, right, when Ami invaded his house, that's why they were shouting to the world, he jumped bail, he need to come back and face his case. He need to come back and face his case. And that's why he was kidnapped. He was... Now, when they brought him, do you know the particular warrant that he was granted bail on, even when they have been telling the world, he jumped bail. He refused to come and face his case. He should come and face his trial. Do you know that that warrant was kept aside? Do you know that that's why I call Bin Tanyako injustice? Injustice Fatima Bin Tanyako, she kept aside a warrant she granted bail on. Right? She started welcoming amended charges. Charges that started from 2018 to 2021. That is all the date they wrote there. We used to Mr. Namdekano from 2018 to 2021. But the charge, the warrant on your table in your court, to be Tanyako, was granted bail 2017. And his name is IPOP leader. In 2017, you granted him bail, IPOP leader, isn't it? How come your DSS, you met with DSS, um, Malami, I mean to say, they started writing in 2021 that from 2018 to 2021, that you, Mr. Namdekano, professed to be a member, stroke leader, of a proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. That is to say, you, Mr. Namdekano, from 2018 to 2021, claimed, claimed, in other words, claimed, they used professed, but in other words, claimed to be a member, stroke leader, of a proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. But this is a man you called leader of IPOB 2015, 2016, 2017. No, coming to 2021, you said that from 2018 to 2021 that he claimed that is stupidity of Nigerian judiciary. Nigerian Minister of Justice, Malami, I stop you by my four, but I will analyze you and your stupidity. Imagine IPOB, those are our IPOB family members that went to university, what they would do to you. Imagine what I'm doing to you. Primary four, first term. You are still owing me two terms, second and third. <laughs> and you think you can confront IPOB members that went to university? You are dreaming. You are dreaming. I'm analyzing Malami and his stupidity. I told people he scored on gold in Kenya. I said Malami has scored on gold. Uncle, I'm going to ask me. Say no, I don't know that as an rendition is the higher offense that you are the captain of your team at the general. You led them to a match. You score uncle, and you say you don't know, and you want to equalize it with the infiltrator, right? You want to use tricks to equalize it. A goal you score in Nigerian post in Kenya, Malami. Your stupidity must be exposed. And when you brought in the can, your only arrangement in the match was to make Ohanese two last men. Isn't it? You want to make Ohanese and the last men. The two side last men, and you, Malami, will become the referee. That's why Ohanese was telling, we are going to monitor the case of Nam the can. We are monitoring the case. Imagine Ohanese becoming the two last men and the Malami referee. <laughs> the man that tends to fall apart now. But we destroyed them. We destroyed them. <laughs> Chupo Hanese in a monitoring here. You monitored until he was discharged and you are no longer monitoring. Oh, Hanese, what did you see? After monitoring the case of Fundamican, you didn't see discharge. <laughs> Mr. Monitor, 
mad people. Now we are monitoring the case. So, so you monitored, you didn't give report after monitoring. What was your report? Oh, now, don't worry. IPOB issue, we are monitoring the case. You monitored. Uh -huh. You didn't see the sergeant acquitted after monitoring. You, 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 all of you are foolish. So you did, okay, you didn't see 13th of October. Okay, did you see 26th of October, 2022? Oh my, federal high court. So after monitoring, you didn't see. <laughs> I feel the last bus stop for no shit. <laughs> I met you analyze it. I thought you were going to get a little before. In Apple, that came out of my hand, I took it. I'm not a child, I'm not a but when we are exposing you, you are making him popular. You, you are not here. So we make uh, Nigeria popular by telling the world they are evil. So if we are exposing you, you say popular. You can ask the Rochas uh, and all those politicians how their children are seeing them. You make young people popular. popular. People that are foolish in their family. We expose them and their children. You before they address their children, they will try to make them happy first. Because we have exposed them. In that same man again, they make it popular. Now, the warrant that they granted the Nam the Kanu Bell on in Bintanyako's court 2017. March. March 2017, can I remember the date? March 2017, Namdekano was granted birth, 2017 March. I cannot remember, the, was it 28th March? Or the day he left detention was 28th March. I will still remember, 2017. All these things are in my memory all this now. That we move! They weren't of treason, 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 you know, the, the, they call it treasonable felony, that he was facing charges of treason. Nam the Kano was facing in Bintanyako's court from 2015 October till 2017 March. Though he was not first in Bintanyako's court, but I am just saying what he was facing in Nigerian courts, that Bintanya could later do the injustice and granted him bail after Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court of Abuja discharged Namdekan 2015 December. He decided to become unconditionally and DSS rearrested him, returned him back to DSS. Then he was in DSS custody. Right? Illegally detained. Now in 2016, Justice John Soho discharged Namdekano unconditionally. Then he was in Kuje prison. They returned him back to Kuje. That's why I call Bin Tanyako injustice. They now moved the case to the court of a Fulani man, Justice Ahmed Muhammad. Justice Ahmed Muhammad told DSS to go back and obey the previous court rulings. That was the rulings of Justice Ademola and the ruling of Justice John Soho. And Justice Ahmed Muhammad warned them that said that he have warned them from stopping this uh, to stop bringing this kind of case in this honorable court. Now they now move the case to the court of justice. Binta Nyaku, Injustice Fatima Binta Motala Nyaku. That's her full name. Injustice Fatima Binta Motala Nyaku. There is no justice there. Now let us clear it. You see, there is no justice. A man that two federal high courts, which Binta Nyaku court is also a federal high court. Now, two federal high courts, Justice Ademola and Joso, have freed the American unconditionally. And they move it to the third court. And he said, Go and obey the previous court relief means that Ahmed Muhammad have decided on the kind of also through his ruling because if a secretary did minutes, somebody will move it and another person will support it. That is to say, we are taking Ademola as the secretary that read out the minutes, then John Soho supported and uh, moved the minutes, then Ahmed Muhammad supported the minutes. 
And that is to say the chairman have to sign the minutes. Isn't it? <laughs> Instead of the chairman being Tanyaku to sign the minutes, she granted bail. How are you granting bail on a case that has been discharged in two different courts unconditionally? The same charges, you now grant bail, Bintanyak. Now, upon the bail, you now went again into a meeting to discuss with the army to kill the man. You granted bail. Bintanyak, did you not discuss with the federal government? Then let us kill your it. <laughs> IPOP, you know, Diego. Should I clear it now? Why did you throw away our suit in your court that we filed, Namdekanu filed through his lawyer over the attack in his home? Now, Bill Tanyaku, why did you started demanding that the shorties of Namdekanu should be brought, should report to court, should be brought to court, uh, should bring the Namdekanu to court. While you are aware of the army's attack, now we ask you, was the attack in his house before the date of court or after the date of court? It was before the date of court. Now, who should be held responsible if not Nigeria army? Then why did you shed Nigeria army away and gave me the other terrorist organization a grant to be demanding that Abalibet should be arrested? Bin Tanyako, did you not discuss that attack with the Nigerian army and federal government? That is the proof. If Bin Tanyako wasn't involved in the meeting, she would have been interested to hear the attack in the Namdekano South. That is to say, Bin Tanyako knew that the bell she granted the Namdekano is so implicative and that Nigeria will be guilty of content of court and then fully threaten her to agree with them to attack in Namdekano because there is one of one um one of the bail conditions there said that Namdekano will not be in the midst of more than 10 people, which is to say, bringing in Namdekano to court on his date of court, Nigeria will be guilty, guilty of content of court because the people that will be in the court will be more than 10. And Bin Tanya Fulani authority, they held her responsible and said, this bell should, how do we do it? Because this, the bell they granted him, they were doing it so that in Namdekano, IPOB will not come closer to him. People will not gather with him. But they don't know it's also, it will also affect them in the court. That in Namdekano, during the court, the judge will be there, the court class will be there, and the federal council will also be there. DSS agents will also be there. Namdekano's family or uh, anybody will be there. Then uh, Namdekano, uh, the lawyers will also be in court. And the people that are in court will be more than 10. And if you bring in Namdekano inside the court, he will destroy them in the open. He will first of all ask the judge how many people are in this court. How many people are in this court? There are more than 10. And what is your bare condition saying? And that is how to scatter the court. And that is how he will carry the head of Buhari back to Nabia Fralan. Are you not aware? <laughs> and they concluded with Bin Tanyako to go and kill him. And that is why Bin Tanyako was not bold enough to demand that Nigerian army should give account of those they killed in the house of Namdekano. Rather, Bin Tanyako was threatening the lawyers of Namdekano. In March 2019, she was busy threatening. She was busy threatening. Why the Tagus terrorist, Onehen, the Nigerian chief judge then, 2019, March, said that IPOB is not a terrorist organization. And Nigerians are aware, are they aware that Nigerian chief judge, Onehen, have ruled before that IPOB is not a terrorist organization? Onehen. People don't even know. And that is why we are here, exposing them in truth and in honesty. Now, we ask Bin Tanyako, what is your reason? Because uh, it has not been worse. Because we still want to know. What is your reason of abandoning the charges, the warrant you granted the Nam the Bell on? Right? In 2017. Which he is to 
faces the trial, isn't it? Why did you abandon it? In 2021, you started welcoming new amended charges from Malami that did not even match with the dates or the even the um, charges against Inamika in that one because it was a treasonable charge. Isn't it? Treasonable felony. That's the charge in 2015. That warrant. Treason. This one, you call it terrorism. That one is treason. Isn't it? It's been Tanya. Is that not worried that committed treason in 1983? That he now told you to hold the American with treason. That he, Buari, committed. The that Buari, or not this one. Buari is dead now. If Buari is alive, how can you see somebody that says you are a thief? You see him, you cannot ask him now proof that I am a thief. Namikan is here, he says you are dead. For almost two years, you can't go and challenge Namikan. Now, proof how you say I'm dead. Or you tell Malami, put it in the charges. This man cannot blackmail me. Put it in the charges. Did you see it in the charges? Which should be the first number one charge against Namikan? Is it not the allegation that he said Buhari is dead? Then why are they running away from it? Then why didn't Nigerians protest and tell their government, clear the image of our country? That this man said that the imposter have ruled our country. Now that this man is here, why not clear the image? Why not improve? Why not you can prove your life? So that the image of Nigeria will be okay. Or are you going to hand over Nigeria to another government in this image that imposters have ruled Nigeria? That is why I call Nigerians cowards. You see them shouting for like I said, you are a fool. Get out from my face. IPOB set a penalty for you. Even convince the keeper to be looking back. The keeper is not even interested. For you to play ball, all of you pick PVC. Look at the idiot. Pursue Tinubu to run away. The man that the Buhari should clear the image that is alive. Now that the man can here. If you say Tinubu will run away, Femi Adesina will run away. Garuba Shea will run away. Like Mohammed will run away. They will leave your Nigeria for you. But all of you say PVC. We say, okay, go and vote. We are waiting. We are watching. We set penalty for you. We convince the keeper to turn back. So that the keeper will not even attempt for you to give free go. Inezus. Inezus. Is Buhari alive? No. If he's alive, how can somebody say you're a thief? You met that person, Kuro Kuro, somebody that been announcing your name, you're a thief. The person now is in your custody for almost two years. You never challenge him and say, nah, prove that I'm alive or you are, I'm dead. Prove it now. You can't do it. And you tell me you are alive. Oh, come on, Zuzu, Zuzu. Zuz, get out from my face. You, you are a Nigerian. Are you living? Your president is dead. Then you think you are alive. So they want to hand over and run. They hand over and go with that image. That's why Nigeria is a zoo. Tell me a country that will accommodate such image and allow the president to hand over. Hand over with that image without challenging the man. Why did you not protest and tell Malami to add this in the charges against an American? That is what proves you that you are not animals, you are human beings. But you, you are animals in the zoo. Did you protest and say, Malami, we are not satisfied with the charges against an American? How do you pose terrorism on him when you did not even add one charge on the allegation he gave to our president? Why did you not add it? He said that Buhari molested Aisha at the age of nine years. Malami, why didn't you add it? He said that Buhari left uh, Aisha in the age of 30 years. Did you write it? He said that um, wherever Muslim gathered in Nigeria, if there is, if it's only 10 years full and or five years, he must lead in prayer. Three of us, did you add it in the charges to challenge him on the canon? Now the canon said that Buhari died. Did you add it in the charges? No. You started writing on answers. Now, you incited members of the public to destroy transportation in Lagos. And you got, zoom, zoom, come on, get out from here. You are Malami. A stupid idiot, Fulani from Niger Republic. You come here, you talk rubbish. Do you have charges? I provide charges for you. Why do you say Buhari is dead? A very good charge. You know, Amachari, all of you presented PVC. I say you, you're a fool. That is what you use to win election. You chase the criminals away. Buhari prove that you are alive. Even now, you have the position to fight them. We cannot manage another, we cannot be in another government without this president proving that he's alive. Very simple. In our machari, in our type of game blame. My people everywhere.
Man. You want to manage the image. You always manage it. And you say you are a man. I want to change in Nigeria. You don't amend your name. Your name is corrupt, Nigeria. How? Impose for pay have ruled you. Two of us, or approve it in court. Challenging American with such charge. You can't? No. Why can't you protest in Senate? Senate should tell the government, the federal government, to clear the image of Nigeria. Nigeria, you can't, you know, you are protesting before um, Yakub. You are protesting before Yakub. You miss your target of protest. <laughs> That's why we are here. The, we know the road now. We know the road. <laughs> That is, is dead now. That's what I'm proud to say. Facebook, that's why. Anytime I say Buhari is dead, I, Facebook, I follow it up. I always follow it up so that I will clear it. Did you understand? <laughs> that is what we are fighting. So we move. Bill Tanyaku. Where is the one that you granted in Namikari <laughs> You kept it aside. Treasonable felony charge. Where is it? Where is it? Then where is the bell he jumped? Then how did he jump? Now Nigeria brought him back. They refused to present the charge. They now went back and started providing, bringing charges of unknown government and answers. And they say you are a judge. You are a judge. What is that warrant doing with you? Because you know that the warrant is corrupt. How? Now the camel was attacked in his house. So Nigeria violated the, the bell. Isn't it? And you are involved, Bill Who gave Flani terrorist grant to be demanding that Abaribe should be arrested? Is it not your, the way you romance the case in your court? Injustice, Mbunta. Injustice, that's what I call you. A woman that was ruling, that granted bail on a case that two federal high courts, like her own court, have discharged. Federal high courts, too. Men, no. Oh. And she proved that she's a woman. She can grant bail. High conditional bail. Not even self bail or bail of um, two, three months short, three years tax clearances. No, land this in Abuja. In Abuja, land this in Abuja. 100 million naira each person. Three months short. And the condition of the man, the, the, the senator. And um, Jewish rabbi, and um, wedding businessman, Igbo man in Lagos. High conditional bell, and upon that, he will not address the press. He will not be in the midst of more than ten people. Imagine high conditional bell to Dogu. Upon that, Nigeria violated it. Then I asked Bintanyaku, where is that warrant? Now, what actually led me to this place is because. The very warrant, this current warrant of 2021, have been nullified and destroyed on the 13th of October 2022 by the rulings of the panel of justice of AP court, which says that Namdekan have been discharged and acquitted and should not stand any trial in any court. That is to say, Namdekan is highly prohibited from standing any court, any trial in any court. Then, then we want to ask them, what is the warrant now keeping Namdekan in detention? Because the judgment has been submitted to DSS by Namdekan lawyers. Now, which warrant is keeping Namdekan there? Now, we want to ask again, what is the date of court of Namdekan? When is his date of court? When is his date of court? Not the Supreme, oh, that one is not trial. Supreme is, we want them to challenge what they are doing here. Then what we are asking them is, what is keeping Namdekan? Is he facing sin and die? Because sin and die is capital offense. Where, when your case has not been in court, you are seeing sin and die, you can be in a waiting trial for eight years, ten years, until your case goes to court. And if your case goes to court, if release comes to the prison yard, you cannot be released. I mean, I'm um, board of mercy, chief judge or governor, Board of Mercy, if they come, they can't release because your case is in court. Those that will be released are those that have not been to court. Because if you are being charged of capital offense, like murder, robbery and murder, which is skate and blouse up and down, robbery and murder, then kidnapping, arson, um, conspiracy, burglary and stealing, break and entry is different. 
All of two of them are breaker entry, breaker entry. But breaker entry is on magistrate court, lower charges. But burglary and stealing is because it happened in the night from 6 starting the evening till uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. It is burglary and stealing. But daytime from 6, a minute after 6 in the morning till 6 29 in the evening, it is called break and entry. Now, economic sabotage, that one is Central High Court, economic sabotage. Electric pole removing a stone from the rail line, railway, railway, one single stone is economic sabotage and vandalization. The same charges with people with counter, but in counter, using fake money, vandalization will not come in. What will go there is economic sabotage only. Now, if you are sharpening your knife on the road, Krota, it is economic sabotage and vandalization. That is 21 years imprisonment. Those that used to put tire. On the road, it's 21 years of economic sabotage. Put it fire, put tire fire on the Kurota. <laughs> that is it. Now, you were a man, you were a man, I'm 21 years. So, let me go to where we are going. I cannot remember all the capital offenses. I let me just use this one. If they bring you, they will take you to magistrate court from police with the police. Charges they wrote against you. That is what is leading you to magistrate court. What police wrote against you, not how you are beautiful. Or uh, uh, the kind of dress you dress. Or uh, you are putting pastor cola cola. No. Magistrate is not looking at that. She's af is after what the police wrote. And when they, they open it, when the court clerk read it, they read out the charges. They ask you, are you guilty or not? First of all, they ask you, are you Mr. K. Kroka? You said no, sir. Uh, you say yes, I say okay. Listen attentively, attentively for the charge prepared against you, prepared against you by the commission of police. That on the social day, social time, social hour, you went to a social place, you committed social offense, are you guilty or not? I'm not guilty, my lord. They say okay, as the accused man pleaded not guilty, this honorable court have no power over this case, and the accused man should be remanded to prison custody, and your case file should be transferred to DPP for further investigation, and your barrister may file a motion to the high court. As court, Places, yeah, we told you, Massey Court. Then that is now sin and die. That's what led me there. Sin and die. After 21 years, 21 days, because it's a capital offense, you don't have date of court. That is it. From magistrate, you are remanded to prison, no date of court. It is your lawyer after 21 days that will go to magistrate court, um, to Minister of Justice, DPP office. And demand for your case file. Did you understand? By then, the DPP chairman, that is Attorney General, have given the case file to a state council, that is prosecutor, state council, to study, study it. Then, when your lawyer come, they will give your lawyer your case file after 21 days. That is sin and die. Your lawyer can now go and file a motion. That's what the court said. At the high court. Because they are not, the court is not satisfied with the charges of the police, the charges they prepare. That is why they said the case file should be transferred to DPP for further investigation. That is to say, Director for Public Prosecution, DPP, Minister of, that is Commissioner for Justice will have the final investigation on your matter. They have to decide. The police work ends in magistrate court today. The next appearance of the police is PW2. That is police PIPO. During the trial. That is when PW2 will be... Because the PW1, position witness number one, PW1 is the eyewitness. Then the police, the IPO is PW2. Right? No, complainant, sorry. Complainant, PW1, witness, PW2, police, PW3. Right? Thank you. Now, when police will come is when his time comes in court. You don't have anything to do after submitting your case file in magistrate court. The next one is his turn in, during the trial. And your barrister may file no case submission in the court. No case submission 
Confession means that the only thing you can say in court is, are you guilty or not? I'm not guilty. You can only take plea. Only. That's all. You can't say any other thing. They file your, they close your mouth. They file a motion. No case submission. You cannot say anything. But like this, you go there. But it works two ways. Right? If they bounce the no case submission, the case will start afresh. Right? At times, there are arguments that the prosecutor will throw in. The judge will break, the, will destroy that no case submission so that they can hear from you. And from there, your case will start afresh. From those places you cross. Now, what we are trying to pick here is the um, sin and die. Right? When they remind you, sin and die, until your case goes out for trial or for, for filing application for bail, motion for bail, right? Immediately it is out there. After 31 days, it's over. You can, your pastor may go there and do it. Now, but ten, five years, nobody has gone there to do it, to bring your case filed from DPP and take it to court. You are still there, <laughs> sin and die. So now, you don't have date of court. You are not going. Nobody is after you. You are not going until you go court. Now, what I'm taking there is that now Bekam is not in that condition. His case has been in court. Right? His case has been in court and his case has been discharged. The charges have been thrashed, first of all. Then, the way he was brought into Nigeria was condemned by the panel of judges too. And the next one was that he's been discharged and acquitted. And the next one was that he will not stand any trial in any Nigerian court. Then we come back to the question. What is Namdekano doing in DSS? Because there is no warrant keeping him there. The warrant has been destroyed in appeal court. And also, we still forward it to Federal High Court again, 26th of October 2022, Omaha Federal High Court. It also destroyed it and demanded that Namdekano should be returned back to Kenya where he was kidnapped, which works together with the judgment of appeal court that said that the way he was brought back here is not acceptable, it's not lawful. Now, we file a, a, a case in Omaha, a suit, condemning the way he was brought into Nigeria, extraordinary rendition, and Omaha Federal High Court proves us right and demanded that he should be returned back to Kenya. <laughs> then we come back to them. Which warrant is Namdekano facing? That, that is uh, DSS using to keep Namdekano in detention. Now, we ask them, what is the date of court? When is the date of court of Namdekan? Or is he under sin and die? Chidege very, very, very. Chidege very, very, very. Do you see how we, we fight? And I join Ebe, 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 but uh, like Mohammed, he, he has his agent. They will send it to him immediately. There are where they listen to our program. They have a panel. There are people they employ. They created them. There are people that are, they will, their duty is to listen to our program and give them what they see from it. Right? Then there are people that are after Radio Biafra. They listen to every broadcast of Radio Biafra and bring out the point there and send it to the intelligence room every time. So that is what we told them that this war is when we tell you, can you talk to, to Putin through your gun? No. <laughs> but on Twitter, bam, it will go to Putin. On Twitter, bam, it will go to Ant 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 Anthony Guterres, U UN, SEC. Bam! It will go to Sec, uh, Sec, uh, Anthony, uh, uh, Sec Anthony what? Uh, U.S. Secretary on stage. Bam! You're, now you shoot, now it will go to DSS. But if you shoot, this gun, uh, those three minutes are shooting here. Uh, have it sound in Abuja? But our voices are sounding, thundering in Abuja. They are listening. Very dangerous why IPOD present that Nigeria cannot confront. 
Thank you, Pramari Four Makadia Mama, in case they don't know. Remind them. I go to the guy. I want to go to school. I want to go to school. We move. I go to I got a car. I have done a protest. Now I studied in Unilag. You ended up protesting in INEC, demanding for good results, without protesting a Minister of Justice to charge Namdekan for blackmailing your president that your presence is die is dead. We will tell you protesting in Minister of Justice and tell them to bring prepare a charge for Namdekan to add it to his status. When he was setting trial or not now, he cannot face any trial now. When he was setting trial. Did you protest that Malami should add the allegation that Gwari is dead? No. You are protesting in INEC. When you were, you were quiet when your president died, do you think INEC will listen to you now? The time POB gave you weapon to fight, you said no. Hey, BVC is your power. BVC is your power. I said, Oga, do you want to use BVC to get the election result proper? They say yes. I said, okay. Challenge Gwari. To confront them, they can now that is in DSS. He's closer to them. You are the people that say he's saying this because he's in abroad. If they touch him, eh, if they catch him, now they catch him. Right? They kidnap him. Why can't you tell your government and say, eh, this man insulted us? So not you. He insulted the image of Nigeria, the president that we want you to add it in the judges. Let him defend it in court. Did you add it? You were there singing terrorism. Happy of you should stop this thing they are doing. Peter B is going to win. Mad idiots everywhere. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. That is it. And today, here we are. And we have defeated them in all angles. When the Namikano defeated them in argument, what do they do? They plan for his kidnap. <laughs> so you don't know. He challenged them now. What we presented was argument. And today we are still presenting it. So very argument. If you want to win us China, give us a freedom. If we fail, we fail. That's the only thing you can challenge us. Not so using gun, using lie, using PVC, using no, it doesn't challenge IPOB with a referendum. Simple. In a material. Where are you jumping to? You want to move? No, that's why we don't shoot the gun. <laughs> we demand for referendum. If we shoot gun, referendum is over. If you are in armed struggle, you don't call for referendum. You don't call for referendum if you are in armed struggle. In our referendum, I don't know That is why when we told them what we are doing, then they don't know. And I will treat that matter now before I go to our people to understand. You know, that one is the second topic, but I want to use it to talk. Nigeria census. But I want to go to that um, IPOB now. Um, something like a uh, comment in exile or all these things. Uh -huh. I want to treat it now. And all this arm struggle. Just let me chip it now. Then people can understand. Do you know that government in exile, which I before presented it to Namdekano 2016, while he was in Kuje prison and he rejected it? Are you aware? Uh, our people are aware that Namdekano condemned government in exile. We are not going to do that rubbish. Are you aware that which I before and Dr. declared customary governments? Are you aware? IPOB does not engage in anything government. What our leader always refer you is that the people of Biafra, the people of Biafra, the people of Biafra, the people of Biafra, they will make their own government. For now, what we have is IPOB, and what we have is Directorate of State that lists us. Now, Nam Dekanu rejected government in exile. But somebody says the disciple, why can't Peter know about the activities of Jesus? Why can't James know? These are disciples and they must know. 
Then how can you be disciple? You don't know that your master hates government in inside. <laughs> acclaimed, self-acclaimed disciple. <laughs> Now, government in exile, before you declare government in exile, your people at home, you will be in good terms with them, and you must have been fighting for freedom in your land. What will bring to the government in exile? The government will force you out of your land. Which government? Nigerian government will force you out of your land. Now, you will now communicate to your people at home and say, we have prepared our armies that will defend you. Don't panic. I will be in exile now. I will be giving you commands. I will be directing the army to defend you. Then, that is when you declare government in exile. Now, the man that declared government in exile, Eberima, who pushed him out of Nigeria? Was he fighting a war before he ran out? Go and Google government in exile. Google it now. They say you will be forced out of your land. You must be forced out of your land. <laughs> Are you aware? Now, this man calling government in exile have never stand on the soil of Biafra and agitate for one and mention Biafra for a day. He never stand with the people of Biafra, five people in a meeting in Biafra land for a day. And it, you can't do it. You can't declare government in exile without being with your people. When you are defending your people, you will be forced out of the land. And Nanikan was in a better position to declare government in Israel in Israel when he was first out of Afaruku. That is the normal position to declare government in Israel because his people have loved him already. Now, when he disappear, he need to be communicating his people by setting up a government and which must be decided by his people, he will agree with his people in government in exile, then he will now arrange with the country where he is, where he will be saved, and they will give him guideline what he can be in their country and do, and what he cannot be in their country and do. Those that will keep you in their country. You know, they will face your, if you are in Israel, you declare it, now they will be fighting with Nigeria. Are you aware? Now, don't worry, I'm coming to government in exile. I, you know, I told, I'm the one who told the very man to appoint people. You know, he's listening now. They have shared it to him. To appoint people. Uh, sorry, I told him that your people will recommend people for you to appoint as cabinet. And where is your cabinet? I've asked him. He don't know that I will seek. This one I'm presenting to him now. If he listen to it and try to do it, I will come with the other ones. He, th he will think I have finished. <laughs> I don't plan for topic. I just come and sit here and start writing topics on my phone. I, I don't plan anyone, nothing. I don't. That's why at times I'll be looking for video to back it up because uh, if I need video, I'll be searching for it. I don't know. I, I don't keep anyone ready. Right? Then we continue. Have the very man stand on Biafra land and agitated? No. He moved from Nigeria confidentially under athletes. He is in a good time with Nigeria completely. He is using Nigerian, uh, he's still a Nigerian citizen, right? Now, how can you declare government in exile? Nigerian chief of defense did not make a statement. Nigerian chief of army staff did not get, make a statement. Nigerian foreign affairs did not make a statement. Nigerian um, Minister of Information did not make a statement, right? And they did not warn the Finnish government in the country where you are. And Nigeria did not threaten the government where you are and declare government in exile. Why? Because I am coming there. Let me bring it to them. Do they know why? They don't know why. Then I'll bring it to them. Why did the Nigeria keep quiet? You did not present an army. <laughs> did you understand? 
in government in exile, you must assemble your army, the defense of your people in your land. That will be the convenience of your people to listen to you. You must present a well-equipped army. Tell them that is when they can be attracted to tell their children to join you to defend your land. You declare government in exile without presenting army. Then you are a sabotage. You are a political. You are being plotted by the government. Nothing will attract the government. Nothing will attract anybody. Not even Nigeria embassy in Finland. The government in Nigeria cannot call him because you did not make a presentation. What actually brought army to our communities? We launched ESN. When Namdi Kanu said, I don't want to see cattle arrest in our bushes full of terrorists. What did he do? He was launching, he launched ESN and he addressed it. That's when the army come. What will attract army if you don't present your armies? Not security, you cannot present vigilante. Government in exile is not all about vigilante. Government in exile is about your army. So, Eberima is a 419. Did you understand? You must be pushed away from your country. You must be forced away by the Nigerian government. You must have fight, fight for Biafra in your land first. And your people will know you in your land first. And the real people will be loyal to you confidentially, not forcefully. Not forcefully. When they become loyal to you, and the government will envy you as they envy the Namdekano because of our loyalty to him when he was here. They forced him out of Nigeria. He was in a better position to arrange with any government in the world so that they will accommodate him so that he will declare government in exile with the agreement of their friend people. Now, Eberima of autopilot, did he agitate for Biafra and Biafra land? No. Is he in problem with Nigerian government? No. Did he have issue with Nigerian government? No. Did you understand? No issue. He's in good terms with their government. Now, only that the Kano did not declare government in exile, he did not present time. He, 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 he appeared in Israel. Like Mohammed was threatening Benjamin Netanyahu to repatriate the Kano back to Nigeria. Only that the Kano appeared. Then, how can Eberima be in somebody's country and declare government in Nigeria and Nigerian government is quiet? Excuse me. <laughs> Do you understand? So, you, your own government in exile is good to Nigeria. No, it is a welcome development to Nigerian government. <laughs> Do you know what government in exile is? Who pushed you out? Have you fight Nigeria and Biafra? No. Then why are you trying to do our people? Who are you commanding? Don't you know government in Nigeria will be leading your people at home? Who knows you at home? Do you have organization that can arrange people at home? The answer is no. IPOB have, we are in charge of community. Do you know what we have? We have unit and zones. Four unit makes up a zone. What does the zone mean? The zone means autonomous community. And the unit means the villages in the autonomous community. <laughs> That's why there was area coordinator in the structure of IPOB earlier, but it was destroyed. No area, no area coordinator. They now implement local government. There was regional. They destroyed it in Biafra land. They implemented senatorial to report to state. Why state go direct to national? Before state report to regional. Did you understand? Now, <laughs> this is a structure why IPOB cannot be destroyed. We have zone is a autonomous community. Zone. Units are the villages in the autonomous community. 
That's how we pieces. That's how we took power away from the politicians. That's how we took power away from them. <laughs> Do you see the foundation I'm the candle laid? Now, what is your foundation? Where is your group? What is your organization? Where do you gather? How do you call the people? Where have you been with the people? Who knows you? Nobody. Then, don't you know that old women know Oju? Old women know Namdekan. So is it only thieves, criminals that will know you? Right? Then, Ebenima, who are you going to be governmenting in exile? You have not been pushed away from Nigeria. You are you moved with the Nigerian sports. So how come you turn around, you declare government in exile, and Nigeria have never talk, uh, make a statement against the country where you are? Are you are you foolish, or do you think you are, our brain is uh, small like you? <laughs> or don't you know us? We are the IPOB now. Very well blessed by your kick. Here, he bless us. We contaminate it. It is a disease from Namdekan, disease of uh, wisdom. That's the best one you can, can contaminate. Not all this HIV. You want to con go to Radio Biafra, you will get that, you will become wise. But you before you get it, you must be you must be a fool. What is the foolishness in IPOB? Command and control. If you are a master, you know everything. You, you can't have sense in IPO. <laughs> because that's the sense we have been using with Zeke. You know, we are wise now. We use it with Zeke. Uh, we are them. If we make him, we are wise. Akaribo was there, special advisor to Mr. President on political matters, though they organized for the return of Ojuku. We were also there, very wise. Ebutu Kiwe was a military vice president of Bangeda, and Nigeria was signed into OIC without the knowledge of um, Ebutu Kiwe. We were wise, so what of Fonagoro was an information minister to Abacha. What, um, information and culture minister that, but he didn't do anything. But imagine now that uh, Fulani is a information and culture minister. He defended terrorists and brought them to make them Nigerians. So we have been wise when they gave us Igbo senior presidents. They did not allow one person to finish four years. They shared it among five Igbo states as they mapped. So we know that's not where Igbo reached. But as they mapped, under four years, they shared it among five states. From Evans and William of Imo, he was impeached. They moved it to Adolfo Sumabra of Abia, he was impeached. They moved it to Chubo Kalibo of Anambra, he was impeached. They moved it to Adolfo Sumabra, uh, to Payosan of Ebon, he was impeached. They moved it to Ken Naman of Enugu, he was impeached, five of them. We have been wise. That is why we come in conclusion. We said our last wiseness was with Jonathan, who will now become foolish to the commands of IPOB. It is called command and control. And you do it with a condition chain. Another one is added there chain of command. I am not sorry, indeed, Rohanad. We don't watch ourselves. Somebody is watching our back. We don't watch our back. You that is moving, you are watching somebody's back. The other one at your front is watching somebody's back. That's how our leader set us. We are moving. We don't turn back. Somebody is watching our back. People are by the sides guiding us. We move. If you want to force yourself out, we we'll warn you, tell you, preach to you, say, Oga, Oga, if you fall out, you will fall out too. That is fine, Alo. You know, those people by the side, our leader set here to be guiding us. They don't care. Their duty is to block us, not to fall out. But if you continue to force them, now remove your hand. Remove your hand. I want to come out. I want to fall out. And we that are inside are drawing you back. You are doing like this. You will force them. Their hand will separate. You fall out. They will close it back. And that is fine. Now. You become Abraham of Germany. Now I need to say, let you return him back. I say, you are a fool. Without returning George Oneibe, you are mad. And which I'm for. You are very foolish. Can't you recommend a video being with our leader in detention? To be appointed a continental rep. And you think we are foolish. 
Once you are out, you are out. You get this little poor, this little thief. They always recommend thieves. We recommend the prima to broadcast on the radio. It fell. You recommend the uh, expert in Germany to be returned back as national coordinator. To be loyal to who? Somebody that is not loyal to the leadership will be returned to be serving under the leadership as a fool. You are. You recommend such person as if we are robots. Thank you. I do mad on Allah in case you don't know. Holding them down on a maria. <laughs> Do you know where we put them? Yes, they, they compromise. They betray one day. They betray our leader. They suspend them on that statum. They don't want our leader to be out. Why do they suspend on that statum? You continued killing us on Monday sit at home. 18 months, nobody. Nandikano was not freed. What are you holding? The works of IPOB. How? Court order. Court ruling. You told us not to go to court. That we are not enemy. Hey, your oppressor, you cannot secure victory in your oppressor's court. We secured it. You turn back and say, since they have freed him, what is your end doing? That is hypocritical of human, that is black man. You say we will not secure victory in our oppressor's court. That we can only free our leader by killing our people on Monday. We said no. We continued in court. Your Mondays at home failed to free our leader. And we secure victory in court. You turn around and say, since the court are afraid him, what are they doing? Are you, are you foolish? Are you mad? I want to work. Is that you believe? Thank you. What is yours? Can be careful. Monday at home will free him. He didn't free him. I'm struggle will free him. He didn't free him. I'm in charge of ESM. You are no longer in charge. You amend your name to ESM. He didn't free him. Because we know you are not fighting for his freedom. Just to use his name and climb. Stepping stone. Hey, freedom, they can free, How can somebody that is fighting for freedom they can declare government in exile? <laughs> you have shifted from freedom because you are not fighting for Biafra. Now we are going to get Biafra. So how does this connect to free Namkan? And then Namkan is coming out to restore Kenya. No, he is no longer restoring Biafra. He's he wants to go and restore Libya. And the Mirima is restoring Biafra. And our leader is coming out to restore Libya. Mad people are free. Hey, Namkan will be free. Was a stepping stone. He want to use the name and clan. And today, the government that are handling him have made costly mistake because we finally pushed them out. He has nothing to do with Namdekani again. Why? He has no power again, even in Biafra land again. We cut those hands off. Just few criminals he has to the kidnapping for him. From Anka that trap, put down Rogan at the hand. And when we go back and I can call him again. No. Because we keep exposing. Two days ago, he doesn't see it on media. We don't rest. opportunity after evangelism evangelism. Honorable Amri Nois, they can't move the noise in our day. How I say, I chop here, my bed door, and I say, Amber. Nandi Madonna watch and Hammer and I know conversation. Nagy and Woke Matas are rising. You two know your bad door, Hagani, who and Yanni, and no soap. So that Hagar Queen. So these are the things I'm but any man he made to us in this Zoma and the Okolony. All the police, he gave me the chap. It's all as you can hear again. No, let's take a book, man. You get to me the child with the first before you put them. After all, maybe who's a drug, a police. Eh, give me a broom. Who's a bog, you're not a police. You're not here. Eh, you are to arrest me. You said, I'm not a two-bar man, one in more. You said, I'm going to be happy. Oh, I'm not a knife. If I just I die in the morning, I say, I want my brother. No, 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 no. You said, I'm not a slave. You got to be happy. I'm not a cook. You'll be afraid about going to my hand. So I'm not at an man one accident. I told the man one all the more. Unless my beer for a beer, I'm just saying man one. Ubo and I don't be. I told me one all the more. No go on me roller. How about go?
Simple. Thank you. We move. So there is nothing like a <laughs> positive uh, government inside. Yeah, you know which are fraud, right? From free now the can government in uh, I'm struggle. No uh, taking point. No fly zone. No election. No DC, no that. Go, 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 go. go. Finally, we push them. Triple call them. Make noise in Lagos. Let us implicate IP. They said they will be sitting at home in Lagos. We fired that one. They are now in exile. <laughs> we told them. But he said, I will be the last person. They are pushing IP from IP. I have, have you been IPOB before? Join. Baraka Imam on Ayaga. But this year, Osaha. Osaha in Aba. I got caught. Chopo give me here. I hope I got chop na shop. I'm trying chop again. I got another shop again. I'm not the same After I want to buy lot I feel be ashy. It is okay. Got a pilot. After all, I am not with you again. I am now at the order. You can use back and he had my imagine. I got to give me here. I got your boss in an abossa. One eat that hog and a bossa, none they can. A woman for you so only man, you saw in on a shop. A way, very much. You know, bossa, now you pass it. No, you have been brought aside than a shop, and I am by no return no game with the go away. I had a talk. Does it make or make my boy a direct? Mbam. One abossa, he died here, was a gun in my head, Jahaman abossa, and now I'm pretty. Right? Lagos. So, when he started bringing, you know, we say chemist, then. We say pharmacist with our leader. We say pharmacist organ. Then every man started bringing pepper and the onions to set uh, bring closer to our counter. We say no. Other we don't sell onions. Other pilot no. We don't sell pepper. This is pharmacy. How do you bring pepper inside pharmacy for the health of the people? You bring pepper. You bring onions. And some idiots uh, that were, he said, no, it is giving gain. If you buy it 1,000, you, you sell it 5,000. We said, we don't need that kind of gain, Oga. We are selling farmers. That's what IPOB is saying. You don't come to our country and place pepper. With your criminality? No. I am here. Oga, I am here. My gain, okay? Go with your gain. Is that not what we told them? Those of us in the hand are supposed to get those, but I ask about we are spell you. Gawa, how do you those that are financing the struggle? They are spelling them. We prove to you that we don't need your money, we need discipline, not money. Isn't it? She never gave me a Money again, money can work for us. Discipline, money of our very ham now. All discipline, a guy that had the struggle. If you need to go, you only go near me, ba ba ba. You can't guide me. Did you understand? Chairman, I need preach. I need to guide the struggle. I know that you go in here. Tonight we pray, my Benny, Tim Benny. You can guide this struggle. You man, I love him. I'm a guy. I'm going to know room naked. I'm going to be lying there. Okay, tonight you put on post to give. Man, I need to post to give. Where be? Post, he post to rota. I'm going to hear where. A very well bear in our room. Intelligence room, Nigeria, and a debate your post. 
Oh, don't you know? But as you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you your gun cannot reach intelligence room. But your post, they will bring it there. They will treat it. They will look into your post. You don't even know who you are. Like Muhammad, they are team. They look, they treat your post. He post now your post, now your page. And the idiot are not going to that on a web on a page, you know, a Twitter, the queen of London, a banner Twitter, the queen of state debt, Department of State America, a banner Twitter, the queer you are in Geneva, a banner Twitter, the queer you and EU, you and in Geneva. A man, a guy, I don't know what. Gamit, you have personal. But you would have a beer for an IPOB, a banner Twitter, gone, pyam. Oh, we but people are my high now. Autopilot, every man. Hey, change the bella. In Mohammed, after all, we are IPOB. As from today, I will be giving press release with the name of IPOB as a leper. Leper and Pama. So you are no longer proudly autopilot. And you are doing it. How large? But it's okay. It is now autopilot IPOB. Inconsequential <laughs> idiots. <laughs> Frustrated idiots. Thank you. Thank you. My brother. I demand my love. I demand my love. Government in exile by somebody that have never agitated for Biafra in his land. Somebody that the government is uh, telling you he declared government in exile. They are the people that took him out in the name of sports. You have to return to fight for Biafra. Now the government will push you as they push you down the canal out. He disappeared. And when he disappeared, he knew that his people would be wondering. But why he didn't declare government in exile? Because through his disappearance, people were confused. But there is IPOB leadership. That is to say, he still have access to communicators. But if he don't have leadership, don't you know that we'll be yearning for Biafra government in inside? So that we will now recommend people to him for appointment as cabinet members. Why? Because Gogo said you will be pushed out of your land. And that will give you a grant to be in another land and declare government in exile. Are you in exile? No. It is when you run away from here that determines you are in exile. Not somebody that moves here with his boss. You are there. Did, did, did they push you away from here? Nobody push you away. So what lead to exile? You must be pushed first out of your land while defending your people. Then you can go there and declare exile government under the agreement with your people, under the love of your people towards you because you have to lead them. And how do you make them confidence? You will assemble your army while declaring government in exile and that will be the confidence of your people to listen to you because there is defense. So where is your army? Then what will attract the federal government? When we declare no, um, when IPOB declared um, no open grazing ban enforcement, okay, open grazing ban enforcement, now the can launch ESN and declare that they don't want to see Flani and their cows in our bushes, two of us. Then how do you declare government in exile? No single army presented in our land. <laughs> Scammers. So you want to raise funds before you arrange army. Where is your liberation army? They were you, but it's a job for the network. One network, one day, one day. No, I will go to work in my night. No, I didn't care. No, I will go. Government in exile. No presenting army. You, you, those clapping are, are fools. You must present army. You must. That will attract the defense minister. That will attract the defense chief. That will attract 
the Minister of Information. That will attract the Minister of Foreign Affairs. That will also attract the IG of police. Are you aware? And how do they reach Finland? They will use Nigeria Embassy in Finland. Why Minister of Information speaks direct to the Finnish government? Minister of Finance, um, what is it called? Foreign Affairs, speak direct. Right? While the defense chiefs ride through their embassy in Finland to warn the government to stop bringing war in their country. Not to Ebeni Mau. They will say that the country is fighting them. Because you allow somebody to declare government in exile in your country against them. But no army was presented. Assemble army now. Assemble army. <laughs> Assemble army. 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 I'm an never. Can you go do that before? I can go do na better seller. Mazi better seller, Diego. Can you go do that? Go do. I'm a born and share with it. A born and share with right tape on that. Better seller, man, they make you sad. Only I want trouble maker. Not this one. I'm a maybe. Mazi better seller, I'm a share with it. Boss, I want it. Come on. Old broker is our leader. But you said that my what do you go? If you want lies, you can be boss. If you want to see, want to see, get boss on a very happy every year. You will every year is late. Every blessed year. If you want the truth, you come here. Uh -huh. Radio Biafra IPO. But you said that thank you. One that can save you. Nobody else. For this, if you like, we can close down Radio Biafra for a year or two. We can disband IPOB family meetings for a year or two. I'm going to hear them. How come you should be going to bring your own? They will go to paper, give them five thousand naira. They do not say. Paper is coming by Tuesday morning. It's coming by Wednesday evening. Oh, can't you see Ban Ki Moon? I have come to see Kofi Annan. I was at Obama's wedding. I was at Obama's inauguration. I was at Obama's in-laws funeral. Where Puasi or Puasi? Why do you accept lies? Because you are liars. You will do Puasi. You are a liar. That is why when they lie to you, you accept it. Let me say with a tape and see. Let me say with a tape and make a man. Only if your heart is right. Only if your heart and mind is clouded with. Please let us go back. Every man on a on a go was Rike Beto. I want to teach out of my lot. You know, they don't know. Hey, they have an object. Roman Catholic. Hey, 150 days. You'll be family. Hey, we are going to restore it. They have an impression of me. Was Rick Ebba trying to get Obama not to go back? Obama will tell you Jesus, isn't it? And next week you also cry. Who will help me this? Did they say Jesus? What are we going to do? Oh, his two private jets are parked in the private jet room of Mutala Muhammad Ebba. And. Please don't. I want to get that side, please. Let us tell them we go mad. I'm not even going to share with the tape from there. This man. Oh yeah, let us listen. Close down the door for a year or two. We can disband IPOB family meetings for a year or two. I'm going to hear them. How come you should be going to the room? They will go to paper, give them five thousand naira. They do not say. Biafra is coming by Tuesday morning. It's coming by Wednesday evening. Oh, can't you see Ban Ki Moon? I have come to see Kofi Annan. I was at Obama's wedding. I was at Obama's inauguration. I was at Obama's in-laws funeral. Oh, puasi, oh puasi. Why do you accept lies? Because you are liars. You will do puasi. You are a liar. That is why when they lie to you, you accept it. Is they happy? It's like light. You can see it. It doesn't need embellishment. It doesn't. Only if your heart and mind is clouded with evil. All what you go into. Mazi, me tu sele. 
Where they were in there, Punda Biko. Roman Catholic Pope Francis. I could tell him, I can tell him, I can tell him. I went on the end of watch. Now, Biafra is coming up. Now, I may go next to that term. Four months, now they can't be out. The boy mother of five, no giddy. Now, Biafra on Monday. Every hand on him, they sit at home. Now, Biafra, now Monday, we have a mother of five. Mother of five, no giddy. Monday, we have a sit at home, we have a. Na biya pa e ga ma ga ba he gbe Na biya fra na be pa no tutu akoko was <laughs> like e gbara ni mo na clint na nogo eh he la de ga mo na ga no sechi mo na george bush ga emit kwa na next week mo na w bush ka mo chalo gua then o obama na o declare biya fra ngo was like o 27 to me o Okay, you want to me that to me? Oh, the seventh May, Canada. Oh, the Biafra heroes. They are more than declared. Okay, you that day, the okay, River State, the seventh May, nineteen sixty-seven, River State. You got right. Thank you. <laughs> so, if you need lies, I want to say, "Is she back? What you get out if you need lies?" He got from the hand of Obama to Now, when a South Korea president, when the man South Korea president, we just met now. Oga we don't need party. Party chairman in Finland. I just finished my meeting with the Finnish Parliament. Same photo with Tony need party. Political party. Party is Simon Ebers. Obama party chairman. So if you do, I will plan. Oh, watch. Now I'm in charge of IPOB. Now I can I should replace him. I should pilot IPOB on his behalf. <laughs> I conduct vote of no confidence against IPOB leadership. I'm in charge. My name is ESL. Oko down here with Simon Ebau. And grandfather, I wouldn't talk. Here, but here we are today. But I also, this is someone needed, so that he will start ESM. It will take that hand and there. Full and there, join one hand. Yes, my grandfather is. No name again that connect to him. Say my grandfather will say bring it and talk. Bring it. We will now shift Eba back. Use Simon in the center. Then we talk with full. That is ESM. That's all. That one didn't work. They say, okay, tell them you are dragon. It didn't work. You say, okay, I'm now in charge of uh, Biafra. I'm now Biafra spokesperson. From disciple, Biafra spokesperson. So that he thought that the spokesperson can overshadow the voice of IPOB media and publicity secretary, Imapuaf. Because that was the target of Lai Mohammed. Lai Mohammed pushed that Biafra spokesperson very well. Lai Mohammed, if you see how much Lai Mohammed sponsor uh, spent on Biafra spokesperson, that very thing, you will not believe it. Because their target is to shut down that voice Nam they can introduce to the world. IPOB media and publicity secretary Emma Puafu. They targeted that voice. They fought that very man. They fought. They don't want anybody to give recognized statement on behalf of IPOB. They don't. Ebenima have carried three sections of war against Imapuafu. First one. The second one was to bring um, fake transaction that Ebenima himself made. And say it's Imapuafu. 20 million. The last one was to bring his picture. me. The last one was, let me change and use another distance. The last one was to bring the picture of Imapuafu so that Imapuafu and China so that he will be kidnapped and killed. So that if anything happened to our leader, the man that will use force, China Samoru, they know they will remove him so that the Prima will be saying I'm in charge. Then a map of that will give press release and the world media will write it they, so that he will be killed.
So that anyone that DOS appointed to be a spokesperson, they will not accept it. They will counter it. Did you understand? So, Imapua Fu and China Samoru was a special agenda in their hands. They needed the picture by fire by force. Did you understand? Now, that's how they were moving. We continue. They said, okay, use IPOB. He now said, he came to his brokers. As from today, I will be using IPOB to address, to give press release. We said, okay. He said that autopilot is a nickname. <laughs> from there, I said, okay, so you are no longer proudly autopilot. It's what I'm the return. They said, okay, it's now autopilot IPOB. We said, okay. From there, we continue to push them to their destination. You know, our duty is to push you. Until they now landed to their destination. Do they have anything to do with the disciple again? Do they have anything to do with the in charge of IPOB again? Do they have anything to do with them? Now they can handed IPOB over to me. No, they are now running um, Edu autopilot government in exile without army. Did you understand? Without army presentation, without any form of anything, without being pushed away from your land, without any quarrel with the Nigerian government, in good terms with the government, you travel normally. You were not fighting in Biafra and you were pushed away. You travel normally and you are living comfortably. You small time, you say you are now in exile. When did you run to exile? Who pushed you away to exile? You are comfortably living in Finland. You are in good time with Nigeria. You move with athletes. Did you understand? As a Nigerian athlete. So, what brought to exile? You must have fight here. Then the government will come after you. Then you run away. You will now communicate to your people if they accept. Then you now range army and you have connection with different governments in the world. Then with the agreement with your people, you can declare government in exile while your army you presented will be their defense and you'll be instructing them, directing them from where you are, and you must have provide a radio for them, like Radio BF. <laughs> uh, no problem. I know we only handle program according to, according to the topic we have. So we move. Thank you. Thank you. Did you understand? So that is how we are moving. And we have pushed them. They are now out. They are now running. Smart and now you see them when they get themselves where they are. One idiot they call um, Dead Stone. He said, Now the government should be their, their prime minister. I say you are a fool. They are standing back in the hand and they can. Prime Minister. When did he tell you about Prime Minister? He even tell you he will not lead Biafra. He will not rule Biafra. We are begging him to rule. You say you declare government in exile. Eh, eh, but it must should not be it. And can, you and Namdekan said what? The same way all of you printed the poster and add the name of Namdekan, uh, the picture of Namdekan, and say no election. You can use FM that is there, is late. Use Ojuku that is late. Which, when Biafra come, will take you to court. You tell us the reason why you use his picture. But as in the county is living, why did you add that his picture? In a campaign, a terrorism campaign against federal government, which is against democratic process. It is a terrorism treat. Now, what was your intention to blackmail the county? He is living. You add his picture in a terrorist campaign. In a terrorist campaign. Did you understand? Thank you. We move. So, why did you do it? Because you want to implicate in Namdekan. But uh, when I be off the light on Friday night against Saturday morning of the election, we're off the light. 
<laughs> and the whole side of the enemy was dark. And our people saw a bright weather. They went out and voted. Today, they vindicate IPOB. Now there is two agitation in Nigeria. Uh, multiple agitation after voting. Did you understand? That's where we ended the no election. We ended the picture of Funam Nekanu they added in their poster. We ended everything there. And that was the end of Ibrima in Biafra land. That was the end. We said after the election, you end in Biafra land. You'll be running, you'll be doing your, your business there. Today they are doing it. Government in Ezai, Biafra liberation. They said they are Biafra liberation or, 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 or front or what. That's all. No connection of Unam de Kanu, no nothing. Simple. That's what we told you to be doing. Do your business then. We are doing Unam de Kanu made stepping stone. Right? That is it. So we don't have anything to do with government in the inside, which before brought it to Unam de Kanu 2016, he said no. While he was in detention, this time around, he's in detention, they tried to create. Um, faction IPB didn't work. They ain't go for government in exile. The government in exile is even too. There are old one women are leading. There are this one. So we don't even know what they are doing. And none of them have been here fighting and before he was pushed out. Only Namdekano was fighting and he was pushed out. And eight men died in his compound. He was in a very good grant in Israel to declare government in exile. But he said, no, it will not favor us in the struggle because the people that are involved in our land are much. Let us just use the multinational oil companies like Ajip, Mobil, Tezako, Chevron, Shell, um, what is it called? AP, F, all of them. These people, you cannot fight them with government in Asia. These people I mentioned. Few, I just mentioned few, you cannot. You will use self-determination to deal with them. Did you understand? So let us go to that uh, census. It will be short. The next day I will present it second. The census, we, the, the, the knowledge we want our people to get on the census is that In the census in Biafra land, have you ever seen them announcing that Fulanese that are in the bushes will come out to be counted? Now, in the census, they always go house to house to count people in Biafra land. Now, is there any place that Fulanese rent house in Biafra land and they are living? That census... Um, Staffs or work will go and count them. The answer is no. Then, who do they count in our land? How many Yorubas have been counted in census in Biafra land? We are asking you, how many Yorubas? How many? During census, if you go to Amausa, all of them will go back. During census in our land, Nigerian census, Northerners in Amausa, all of them, they will put trailer, all of them will go back. They will be counted in their place so that they will use it against you in politics. Now, when they return back to their place, you that they left their, your place, they are still in their place. They are still in their place. And you will join them in their place to be counted as citizens of their states. The Yorubas that are carrying this in the Amburago, all of them, they will go back to Yoruba land. All those Yoruba working in oil company in Yugocha, they will go back to Yoruba land and they will be counted in Yoruba land. The Northerners and the Yoruba in Biafra land, they are not being counted in our land though, because they are not living in our houses. The Census staffs, they always go house to house. They don't go to bushes. But the Fulanese are living in bushes. And the Northerners that are, that have Northern residence, 
where they occupy, where we used to call on Mausa that used to be like a dustbin, and you cannot eat in that place. That place is too dirty, and that's the only thing they bring to our land. Corruption and death, blocking of main road, terrorism. That's what the Northerners can bring. They have no development to bring. Right? Now, how many Northerners have been counted in census in our land? They are not being counted. Even those that refuse to go, they are not being counted in census in our land. Are you aware? Now, how come you now want to be counted in census to increase the number of people who refuse you to vote and choose who you want him or her to rule you? You want to know? So, Biafrans will be in Lagos confidentially and will be counted as Lagos citizens. Or uh, do they tell you that wherever you are counted in, it is all Nigerian census, that they want to get the figure of everybody in Nigeria? That is not the fact. The figure is not the issue. The issue is state figures. And when they come to state, after counting state, they will take it to regional. That is geopolitical zones. They will not say, this is what we get from Southeast. That's why they gave other people six, six geopolitical zone. They give the Yoruba six, six states, sorry, six states in their geopolitical zone. They gave the South-South six states in their geopolitical zone. They gave the Southeast five states in their geopolitical zone. Can you understand? Now, you will also, instead of you to come back to your place in South South, as they call you South South and the South East, to be counted in. Did you understand? Because if you come back from Lagos, you will see that Lagos have no number. But if you are being counted in there, it will become the population in Lagos. If you allow yourself to be counted in Kano, when you are aware that the northerners in your place, they have returned to Kano, and you still remain in Kano during census, they will return, and you yourself that owns, comes from Biafra land, you will remain in Kano. And the day that came to our land, they will return back to Kano, and they will be counted, you and them, as citizens of Kano. Now you promote them. How? You bring development to their place. If you get 20 million people in Lagos, then when government is given allocation, they will give it according to 20 million. And which the government of Lagos will never allow it to extend to you. Because they know you are Biafrans, you feed yourself. Right? It is according to how many children you gave birth to, or how many of you living in the house. That is when you know the quantity of rice you cook, how many cups of rice you cook. It is a very simple language. How many cups of rice in the So if you give Lagos, Kano, Kaduna, highest number, during the election, whether you vote in Lagos or vote in Kano or in Kaduna, they will use this a census number. Now, let me come back to voting. Do you know that according to the number of people counted in Lagos and in Kano and in Kaduna, determines how many voters card that the INEC will allocate or will be allowed to be registered in Lagos? Now, according to how many people numbers got in Abia in census, they will now know how many voters card that will be registered in Abia. Are you aware? 
Now, if you give Lagos 20 million number, at least they will register not less than 15 million. Right? Now, even if all of you registered and you didn't vote, if they want to rig the election, they will rig it according to how many register voter card. Now, they will tell you according to accredited. Now, who are the accreditors? When you wanted to go and the vote in Lagos, do they allow you to accredit? Then after the voting, do they not get the figure that are supposed to be gotten in Lagos? They got the figure, even as they stop you from voting. How do they increase the figure? They use the number of people they got through census. And that gave birth to the number of voters card that will be registered in Lagos. And in Reagan, they don't care about the accreditation. They now use the number of voters card registered. And you are the one who promoted them by allowing yourself to be counted in their land. When you, that uh, is a Christian, when you read the, uh, why, how Jesus was born, you know that their, their mother went for census. Is it in their home? Is it in their home? No. They went to a place where they should be counted. And they slept, uh, according to the story, in animal's uh, house. Isn't it? So, don't you know that you need to go to where you are supposed to be counted? Where, if they want to bring development, it will be beneficiary to you. But if you are being counted in Kano, if they bring allocation to Kano, they will not allow it to extend to you. It is, it, is, it is you yourself that will be feeding your children. But they will use it to make themselves happy. But you are the one who brought huge allocation money to them because you were counted among them as the citizens of that state. Did you understand? So, thank you. That is what we are telling you. If you come back, they can't you in Abia. If they get the number of people in Abia, they get the number of uh, census in Enugu. If it is, you are still Nigerian, if they want to send voters card, they will send it according to how many people you got in Abia. That's why, if you are contesting an election from our side, they know you will fail. How? They knew how many voters card that will be registered in all the states, in the Igbo states. They knew. And they know how many votes that will come out from there. So if they are planning their rigging, they will be planning it ahead that will, over, that will supersede the number of the people in the East. That's why British taught them to rig census 1959. But this time around, IPOB want to deal with them. Let me tell you, the way IPOB moves, we don't have weapon. Our weapon is with our creator. Any stage we reach in the struggle, the God in heaven will communicate us. Our leader said, as we proceed, Chiwuku Okike Abiyama in heavens, presides over every, every, every of our proceedings. Now, how do you know that? We utilize answers, right, by guiding them guiding the inside protesters through Radio Biafra to be law-abiding, not to block the main road, that it will bring trouble, people will be against you, because there are patients that will be going to hospital, there are hospital staffs that will be going to treat people, and there are government workers, there are bankers. Therefore, you need to be marching by the side of the road. You need to send people inside the market and go and to any shops of a Biafran selling, um, a, um, what is it called, traffic materials, then get the traffic clothes or apron or what, like three or four. When they ask you, tell them that they can tell you to give them. Then when you collect it, use it. Some people should work as traffic so that they will make sure there is a way people will be moving and when you are protesting, those people driving slowly by your side are your strength because they will be heading you either by their hands or through their horn. They will be honing for you. Beep, beep, beep.
The people that is, they are healing you, and that is your strength. If you need water, it is through the space you created while protesting for people to move. That is when they will give you water. That's how we guided them. We said, do not be violence. Do not be violence. But if the government come after you, do not go after individual properties. It is how it is done in the world. Do not go after civil properties. Go after government properties. That is how it is done. Do not destroy the property of your fellow people that are suffering. That's how we guided them. To prove that Nigeria does not obey human rights. Now we can guide them not to fail, not to be violent. The answers. They wanted to avoid, he said no. Don't do it. They will beat you. They, the, Nigeria will beat you. These are kabas. He tried to prove to the world that even without asking for Biafra, hence you exercise your right to show that dictatorship and tyranny is in charge of Nigerian government, that they will kill you. So Nigeria is not supposed to be existing. And the, the uh, Nigerian government, Nigerian army proved it in Lekki. And uh, we can use Obi massacre to prove it to the world that that is true. That they don't allow civilian to civil protests. We can prove it with Obi massacre. Now, I think our people are understanding. Now, that is how we have been moving. When Buhari died, we utilize it. They told him, the no, don't leave that, leave that side. We utilize it. When um, COVID-19 came, we utilize it. We destroy Nigeria with the truth. We also, Namdekan also, save the life of um, Nigerians by exposing the plans of China against Nigerians the plan they have with Kabas to deal with Nigerian citizens, right? Only to enrich themselves. Now they can utilize it. So anything that comes, we utilize it. Census have come. Okay, election have come. We allow them to go and vote. After voting, it created P2P. Isn't it? Now there is another tension from obedient Tanko. That one is different. That is how we do. Now, the broad census, we have to tell you because we are here to save our land and there are things the world needs to see. There are things. You know, we are telling them how many we are in number. Then you have to prove us, at least give us percentage. We know we have people in abroad, but give us percentage here. You need to come back here you, if you don't know how reflect, if maybe you don't know how it will work, it will work very well. It will even make the enemy to be fear, to be afraid of you. Those who are living in their land, if your census increases in Biafra land, they will be afraid of you. Did you understand? And you will also prove IPOB, give IPOB percentage of the number, how many millions Biafrans we are telling the world we are. Come back, um, at least, that's the only thing you can do for Namdekan. If you are in Kano, if you are in Kaduna, if you are in Lagos. Just to be counted in Nigerian census in Biafra land, don't worry. Don't worry, they will tell you, they will make it like election. Oh God, don't worry. We are the IPOB that tell you to come and be counted. Are we not the people? Don't worry now. The way, is it the same people that conducted the election? Was the election not exposed? What is shaking Nigeria? The same thing. We, there is no way we expect them to do the right thing. We ask you to do it so that it will implicate them. Isn't it? We went to court so that they will disobey court order. We know they don't obey court order. So we never do these things that we expected it is. But anyone you can do, we will inform you. Anywhere you participate, we will inform you. That is why our leader said everybody must be carried along. How? If it reaches to when you will participate positively, that leads to Biafra restoration, you have to do it. It is no more so you will be IPOB. But what makes us angry is, in terms of you to participate, you will not do it. Because IPOB will see it. You are not in the battlefield. We are the people that will see it and know how to save you and will inform you. You ignore it. Don't you know we are in charge? 
the market, the, that business you are in, you know how the price goes high. You know when it comes down. That is how it is to IPOB. We know where we can play it and where we are not supposed to play it. In this very pitch of play. So, when we ask you to talk, come and be counted in, we know the estimate we want to present to the world. And we know the estimate that we have in different parts of the world. But presently in our land, you have to show up, show your support to Namdekan by allowing yourself to be counted in census. It will reflect somewhere. You know, we will not expose everything. I know why I just chip this one so that this one can help you to digest it very well. You know, if you expect IPB to tell you all, you know, I am not on Alan. I am not going to be a car. I am not going to be a car. Right? I did not have my hands down. Just me hang what I get now. I ask why you join IPOB. Oga, go and be counted in census Nigeria. This one I will not call Obama Debe. May I know you carry everybody along? Every time sit at home, we inform you. Or you are going to get IPOB. Every time that let me sit at home, we inform you. You are going to get. Oga, come and give me. Make sure you are going to get IPOB. Our anger won't be there again. Thank you. So that is what I want to chip in there. And I think I'll be rounding it up from here because we have touched it. And I believe Lai Muhammad will not be tired of listening to it because they might have sent it to them. In the intelligence room, they are listening. And we ask them to be continue listening. All our brokers, they listen to it. There are people they pay salary two times in a month to bring them what they see in any brokers on Radio Biafra. That's why we told the Berima, you must agree in the terms and conditions to brokers on Radio Biafra before you brokers, because that is the voice of the people, federal government and their agent. They monitor any brokers on Radio Biafra. They take it, they have the tape, even if you don't have the tape, federal government have all the tapes of brokers of Radio Biafra. Anyone, they have it. They have their room where they look into it, they discuss it. And before you be our broadcaster, you must be guided, knowing that you are, whenever you are broadcasting on Radio Biafra, you are speaking on behalf of the people, and you must have to use your sense, knowing that even world intelligence are monitoring your brokers. And that is why I love IPOB. The Spirit of God that fell upon IPOB leadership, whoever he used, or any argument that our Creator presented through any member of the leadership that kicked Eberima out not to broadcast for a minute on Radio Biafra. That very Spirit of God needs to be honored and worshipped. So that you will continue to communicate us. Because had a very man voiced a minute out on Radio Biafra, we can never escape anything. We can how you how can you deny it's not IPOB? You, you cannot. Did you understand? Now we know that there was angels that God used to control the leadership. To stop this man, because his broadcast will be documented by federal government and will be used against us. Even if now one minute he broadcast, you cannot deny it. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Yes, that, uh, yes. I need it, those fundraising poster. I want to do a video, not a live video. I want to compile it because I have a statement of Lai Muhammad. I want to compile it. Yes, thank you for sending it. I need those things. I need it as an evidence to compile a video and send it to Lai Muhammad, knowing that we knew that you are the one who arranged for the fundraising. That's why you made the statement telling the world that they allow IPOB to be raising funds to sponsor terrorism. Thank you. I will make a video there. The very magnificent Hannah Bar. May you go be my continue to bless all of you. Thank you, my brother. 
<laughs> you are always there now. You are always there. You have been there since the starting of the broadcast. I'm a motor on the gym. I'm not going to find another one. I'm not going to find another one. I'm not going to say, now come and fight. Do you know how many, how much data were people are using then? If they convert it to bullet money, do you think Nigeria can stand it? And we must be doing this one for now until other Zen or Droko. We can convert our data money to bullet money. Muru Zen and God Roko. But for now, we continue on our awareness campaign, both Free Nam De Kano, both um, Biafra De Freedom, both um, Exposing Nigeria Army against Biafra killings. We we'll continue on campaign against Ibophobia. Ibophobia continue on campaign to tell our people to return back. We we'll continue on campaign to tell our people to be counted in census, not in another land, in Nigeria, but in our land. Awareness is our way. We have no gun, therefore, we always give press release, we always broadcast, we always post, we always tweet. If we are in arms struggle, we cannot give press release. If the army kill us, we go after the army. But we give press release because we are not armed. We are not armed struggle. We always we believe in civility, and that is why you hear our voices, you call us cowards. If we are in armed struggle, we we'll take our gun to DSS. Are you aware? And on this, may Chukwa Biyama continue to strengthen all of you, bless you, provide for you. Those that are um, asking for job or looking for job in the country where they are. Anyone will keep to say, but within Bororo Madu, but I will go and come mad. Your tattoo. Those in the outside country, wherever I call, Chukwa Biyama, give them job now. And uh, favor them so that um, the lies that Nigeria used their ambassador to lie against them in that country where they are will not continue to surface in their face because only your favor can attract the favor of all mankind. And those that are looking them bad eye, according to the bad report Nigeria gave against us, they will start loving us. That is what we pray from thee, your favor upon our people all over the world, so that they can sustain this heat until Biafra come. We know that they cannot be totally loved. Yes, you raise those people to be torturing them, putting them in jail so that they will remember whom. Now they have remembered whom, they are getting for Biafra. Now Biafra have not come, and you know that uh, those in abroad, they are financing the Biafra struggle. And that is why we ask you, do not lose the hell all on them. Their position now in abroad is needed. For now, they need to be in abroad fighting. We know when the time comes for them to return, they might have finished the abroad wars. Therefore, they cannot be doing without job. And they need good jobs. There are those that are not the, that do not have good job. Give them good job. There are jobs you give to some of our people. Individually, one person can be take charge. You say I'll be sponsoring ESN of my senatorial, or I'll be sponsoring ESN of my local government. Because of this work, I'll be sponsoring ESN of my state, right there from the country where they are. And that is why we ask you. As your favor was upon Joseph, that even Potiphar that bought him as slave discovered that he is highly favored by you, and he handed over everything to him apart from his wife. That very favor also led Joseph to the house of Pharaoh, and that is the favor we ask from thee upon our people wherever they are. Favor them within and without that in the end. They will testify that even in a strange land, you, Chukwa Biyama, was their ambassador because they have no ambassador for now. And that is why we always consult you in heaven. And that is where our embassy are for now. And at the end, you alone be glorified. And this very glory will be given it back to you within Namdekanu here with us. And that is what we ask from thee. We don't want to be rejoicing such joy where we'll be celebrating such without the presence of Nam de Kano as we are expecting him to be out soon that is 
the same way you will be expecting our unimaginable praises, honor, worship that we we'll give to you on that very day. In your name, Chi Uku Okike. Abia Amara Pro Ime Ihenile. We have prayed. He said, He said, He said, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Omochineke. I am a good day. I need that. I am a good day. Come, poor Kamama. Let them replay it in a big platform. Let us go. Thank you. I'm sorry for our brothers uh, that I should be making it short. You know, some of them I make them short, but according to the topic, right? You should pardon me. You should pardon me. You know, I don't want to go out. I don't want any opportunity. I will give it out. You know, I don't dream is. I don't want to go down. I don't move anyhow. I don't live life anyhow. I don't enjoy life. My picture and video is all over the place. I don't enjoy life. I don't go to question. I don't go to be a I don't. I don't enjoy life. <laughs> I've offended many people. I don't go to burial. I don't go to traditional marriage. I don't go to wedding. Now all the rogue go make a check. Go to. I go and demand a love for me. I go there and meet him next creator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From me, fearless IPOB evangelist, Simazi, Madam Chimachuku, and from here, our homeland radio Biafra, here in Biafra land. It is. Good evening! <laughs>